Thank God for the rain, or more specifically, the lightning in the Hall of Fame game last night as uh, that sort of saved us. Not sort of, it did save us uh, on our first football bet of the season, but enough about that uh, and lightning. Mark Zeno, I will not be stealing your thunder like I did yesterday on your breakdown when I basically just delivered your breakdown yeah. and you had nothing Which left to say. Which is why they lost. Which is why they <laughs> lost. You steal That's my why thunder they and lose, yes. Okay, you yeah, should let well, me do it. Well, if the game was eight and a half innings, the Cardinals would have won too. But you are looking at a team you know very well today for your half of the double play, the Atlanta Braves, who are hosting the Miami Marlins, a team that has little thunder. It's all rainy in Miami. Please yes. tell us about this fine matchup in the National League East. Well, of course, I have to preface this by telling you that uh, I'm going to lay one and a half with the home team here. And oh, no. as Brian Power would tell you, I don't lay one and a half with the home team because they get one less at bat. I don't care. Don't sound like that. I know you don't, but I don't, <laughs> don't care. I don't care about your one less at bat. Don't sound like that. For those clients who bought my package last night, I laid the one and a half with the Atlanta Braves, and they covered the one and a half. Why did they cover it? Because since 2000, 2020, rather, the Braves are 27 and 12 at home against the Marlins, and just four of those 27 wins were decided by one run, so there's only two ways you play these this series. Braves minus one and a half. Marlins money line. The Marlins are not good enough to beat the Braves. The Braves, by the way, have hit 21 home runs in the last eight days. That is by far the most in baseball. It looks like they're starting to turn this thing around offensively. Spencer Schwellenbach is starting for Atlanta, and that's how yeah, it's actually how you say it. Schwellenbach. <coughs> anyway, uh, he's turned it around since some early struggles, allowed one run or less in three of his last four. So Schwellenbach uh, and the Braves offense should be enough here to win by two runs. Braves minus one and a half. Put that in your keister and smoke it there, Brian Power. Mark Zinno is not gagging. I would be gagging if I put a home team laying one and a half in my keister, but that's a different story for a different day. Can't tell you something else. Like okay. so, but like, Please, I, I, my, my guess is I don't have a choice. By the way, and I love how you're like. Can I tell you something else? What if I said no? Then what, I would what shut I up. I respect, you. I, re I respect oh. you, counselor. I mean, you went through a week of law school, so I, I assume yeah, that was more that like two months. <laughs> okay, two months. You went like through two months. months of law school. So you know, three? Uh, before you. Before you folded the hand like a cheap suit, uh, you hear that. So I, I asked if I could say something else, and you said no. I'd stop. No, I, I want to know now. So I also last <laughs> night, by the way, played the Braves team total over four and a half, only to watch them score four runs in the first three innings, and then not score a single run the rest of the way. And I could have used that last that bat last night for them possibly to score one more run, but I didn't get it. But the one and a half hit. So there. Well, I hope your keister's okay. All right. Let us know down in the comments section what you think. I want to have a conversation I'm laying about one and a half. I, I, I do not want to have a conversation. I do not want to hear anything about there your are, Easter. There All are right. proctologists and GI doctors who have studied oh, this dear. at length. I, I, oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Do not comment down below about Mark Zitto's keister. Comment down one below what you think about laying the one and a half with home teams. That's what we want to hear. Smash that like button if you agree with the Braves. Uh, there we go. The pictures are showing up. Tokyo yep. Brandon. He, at Walter first, Bundy. he was a little scared. He was just, he was, Walter he came out small. He, he came out a little bit. Okay. I don't, will you stop it? This show's completely off the rails here. What I'm going to talk about right now for my half of the double play is the Mets. <laughs> And the Angels. Let's talk about these teams in the big picture, Mark Zeno, shall we? The New York Mets have lost just one of their last 17 series. They have the best record in baseball over the last two months. Uh, the LA Angels, on the other hand, uh, things are not going well for them whatsoever. I think they're a bottom five team in all of baseball. Look what happened last night, too. My only winner last night was the Rockies who tied the game in the ninth and then won it in extra innings. So you've got an Angels team out of contention, no day off between series, brutal loss last night. They stink at home to begin with. The Mets, a team, and we talked about that NL wild card race, card race on the show earlier this week. They score more on the road, the Mets, and they're facing Tyler Anderson. My opinion of Tyler Anderson, Mark Zinno, is well-documented at this point. This is an individual, yes, he has a 2.96 ERA. I don't care. I think that's fraudulent. His expected ERA is up over four. He is due for some regression. 
again, the Mets score more on the road uh, than they do at home. I think the Mets, after an off day, too, the schedule sets up nice. Oh, by the way, Blackburn's making his debut here for the Metropolitans. He knows the Angels well, and he's had their number. He's never lost to them in the, it, before. 4-0, 3.27 ERA and six career starts. He just beat them on July 26th. I think he's going to beat them again. The Mets. It's my half a double play to go along with Mark Zinno's keister or the Braves minus one and a half, whatever that was. Best bets coming up in just a little bit. You can always share your best bets with us down in the comments section below. We always enjoy reading that. We always, I love all the comments, Stable. I love the other day when someone was got, got thought it was a real hoot when I said this was a family program, as if that people are watching this with their six year old children uh, making no, this bets. Is not a but, uh, program. This is just well, the first thing. There it is. There you go. That for the kids right there, a cabbage patch doll. There you go. I mean, I mean, look at the two people on this show. Like we scream family show. Are you kidding me? Well, we, we are both parents, as uh, scary as that may be. All right. Uh, something that is not scary and something you should take advantage of. But by, by the way, if you're the Angels, okay, God, what do you do for these last two months of the season, right? I mean, why not, why not just quit? But something that all of you should do for the next two months is take advantage mm-hmm. of the latest special offer at wager talk. You can buy two months and get August for free. So you have three months of service for the price of two months. What does that include? How about the entire NFL preseason? First two months of the regular season, first two months of the college football, regular season, rest of the baseball season, uh, pretty much. I think the world series may bleed in November and you know, any other sports that your favorite handicapper does soccer for me, premier league right around the corner in a couple weeks. So head on over to either wt.buzz slash BP, wt.buzz slash MZ. You can find that deal right now. Buy two months, get all of August free. All right, show best bet time, Mark Zeno. You and I had a healthy debate about this one, and ironically enough, it's centered around whether or not to lay the one and a half. I put my foot down and said, I will not be laying the one and a half with Houston, but the Astros are going to win today. Would you like to tell the fine people why they're going to beat the Tampa Bay Rays? Yeah, and I'm going to divert from the conversation we had earlier this morning. Screw you. I'm laying the one and a half. You could take the money line, and I'm taking the one and a half. We're both going to be right because I'm right, and you're also going to be right because I'm right first. Anyway, the point here <laughs> is that I endorse the Houston Astros not only to win this game, but to win it and cover the one and a half. Since June 1st, the Astros, get this, guys, they're 17 and eight straight up at home not only that of those 17 wins three of them were by one run so do the math uh that'll tell you that that they end up covering the one and a half on a routine basis the only time they didn't was it one game against the marlins they won four three they won a game against the uh dodgers seven to six and the last game they played against the pirates the other day uh with uh frambois on the mound against woodford uh it was a five four final so I know there's a little bit of concern here about the Astros bats BP that you and I talked about this. I kind of hit the skids a little bit over the course of the last four or five home games, but maybe it's just a breakout time here. And Shane Baz, I mean, guy is weird. He's only made like four or five starts. He didn't pitch all of last year. Like where that, where, where has Baz been? Um, it has not been, it's just not been good. So uh, I know his numbers are okay, but it's weird. Cause he made four starts. Two of them, he went six innings. The other two, he was leading in, didn't give up a run, but was gone before the end of the fifth. So add in the Tampa Bay Bay Rays bullpen, which is bad. That should put some added insurance. And oh, by the way, if they're only leading by one run in the seventh BP, the Rays bullpen might give up a run or two late and we'll cover the one and a half. We don't need the ninth inning. I definitely don't sound like that. (laughs) I understand. I'm just reminding you. Uh, So look, whether you want, if you're willing to lay the round 160 it is right now for Houston. Is that yeah. what we're saying? 155, 160. Uh, endorse it. If you want to chase a little plus money and lay the one and a half, which is what I'll do because I manage money better than Brian Power. Look at his haircut. Look at mine. Um, and then <laughs> you can go chase some plus hey, money man. here with the Astros. Right. I got a lot of hair, man. I got a, I got a nice head of hair. Every time I get my hair cut, every time I get a haircut, they say, what nice hair you have, Brian Power. Yes, anyway... You want to chase plus money? I got a bet for you. Mm-hmm. Astros plus 360 to win by exactly one run. I can't wait till that comes in. Anyway, the Houston Astros are your best bet for the show today. I have a jerk. There we go. It's Friday. 
You put that might bad juju out of the universe. Yeah, I might now have a liquid lunch outright. scheduled for this now afternoon. Anyway, I got to do outright, those things. If they lose outright, I hope the morning wager audience eviscerates you for doing that. I hope they don't do that. I like the morning wager audience a lot. And I please I keep do. the kind comments coming. We enjoy when they roll in. Uh, for That's me today, I have just work. MFW. Okay, I, 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 have, I have just one. Could I please oh. talk about the play I have up for sale today? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It is a team total. I was 80% in July with team totals, 4-1. and one. We hit the Astros. Zinno, you were on that too. That was a joint effort, if you will. I was. Uh, on Wednesday to close out July. Really like this team total I've got today. Head on over to wt.buzz slash BP. Just $25 for that. And don't forget about the special offer. Good sir, what do you have on the docket for Friday oh, as we head on to the weekend? I have two plays, including a 4% best bet. That is mm. playing against a team that at the price they are at is on a 14 and three run straight up. So we're fading this one team that's 14 and three straight up at this price point. And uh, we are following this trend here. 4% best bet over at the site right now. WT.buzz slash MZ, AKA the MFW. I cannot think of any better way to head into the weekend than with our favorite jingle. We have it has to take us out here as we oh, will dance the people funny. into the weekend. There it is. Feel so good, so great when Zeno. It's a good day. He's oh, it's a good day. Late. I was on time today. You were. Uh, by the way, the Chicago, uh, the Minnesota Twins are three dollar favorites today against the Chicago White Sox. Do you know that the last time the Chicago White Sox won a game, Joe Biden was still running for president? Yeah, there's that. They are complete ass. They're they're not very good. They're not very good. And on that note, we bid you adieu. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you again Monday. Let's cash those tickets.